All right, we're going to step away and move to another subject, our weather, which was relatively calm today, considering what things have been like the last few days. This is a live look outside tonight, a clear picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. But you know what they say about the weather, Pam? It always changes, so this clear situation isn't lasting long, is it, Lawrence? Not long at all. In fact, we've got another storm already bearing down on the Bay Area. Actually, a series of storms. I want to show you that coming up here in a few minutes, because we get into next week, could get a little more serious. But uh, catching a much need a break in the stormy weather the better part of today we had a few scattered light showers out there a few rainbows to be had as well and some snow over mountaintops now that cold air settling in getting chilly in spots already down in the 30s and 40s and we've had a ton of rain from that one atmospheric river event how about that last 72 hours over nine and a half inches of rain in ben Lomond, san rafael over seven inches of rain pacifica almost six inches of rain napa over four and a half inches of rain san francisco over three and a third and oak Oakland, wow, almost four inches of rain in Oakland. How about that? That's adding to some very impressive totals. What a start to the season. Remember, last year we had less than nine inches of rain for the entire year in San Francisco. We're sitting at over 12 inches. In fact, the year before that we had just over 11 inches. So we're already doing better than the last two years, and we're only starting out in the season now. San Jose still running a little bit below the average at two and a half inches of rain. Oakland now at over 10 inches, almost 11 inches of rain. That is 239% of normal in Oakland. How about Santa Rosa? 214% of normal at over 17 inches of rain. Well, things quieting down around the Bay Area now, but you can see that next cold front getting ready to move on shore. That'll soon bring us some more rain around the Bay Area, but right now things beginning to taper off outside and quiet down a bit. Uh, kind of an active pattern here. The jet stream still lagging well to the south, and that's going to allow this next storm system to come on shore, bringing us more rain, especially as we head into toward tomorrow afternoon. In the short term, here's your forecast for you overnight tonight. Clouds start to gather, and here we go. we got some rain moving in by tomorrow about the middle of the day in the North Bay, and then spreading to the south as we head toward the afternoon, but really getting going as we head toward tomorrow evening around 8, 9 o'clock, really making its way around the rest of the Bay Area. Now, after that, though, things get a little more ominous. This storm system coming through, this is a long-range forecast model. This is that same system coming through for tomorrow, bringing the rain behind that. We'll catch a little bit of a break as we head into Friday and Saturday. We're looking good. But then as we get into Sunday, look what happens. We see that front begin to drop into the Bay Area, sitting right here. On the backside, we're going to see an area of, another area of low pressure developing, and that's going to add, that's going to kind of be the anchor point. So all of a sudden, that's going to stall out. And if you believe these models, that means we're going to get rain on Sunday into Monday, into Tuesday, into Wednesday, and then another storm system drops in on Thursday. So all told, that's a lot of rain. And we've already had everything completely saturated. This next event, kind of a light uh, event. You're talking about a quarter of an inch of rain to about an inch in most spots. But then you throw that next series of storms in, then it gets really serious. We're talking three, five inches of rain. Some places in the North Bay, the models are painting over eight inches of rain. So that's not what I wanted to tell you. That's not the story I wanted to tell you tonight. That's not necessarily what will happen, but what we're seeing right right now in the forecast so we'll keep our eyes on for you things can change as you know as we know yes. all right